just uh, filming some of the animals in the bedroom right now. Alright. This right here is Crispy. He's a snapping turtle. He just got new water because his old tank, the filter, broke. And his water pretty much looked like that old drink, uh, Surge. It was pure green. Now he's in clear water. He doesn't like that people can see him. He feels exposed. He's got his rock right there that he can perch on and stick his head out. I used to leave his rock exposed so that he could uh, come out of the water. But he didn't like that. He didn't like coming out of the water. Even when I gave him that opportunity, it was like he was nervous about it because they don't really come out of the water too much in the wild unless they're switching ponds. I usually feed him uh, some commercial turtle food a couple nights a week and then depending on how much he eats like maybe once every week or sometimes once every two weeks I'll give him tuna or something like that because he can get a real big appetite. He's about a little bit over a year old right now, and uh, he's been nothing but healthy. He's never showed signs of slowing down or anything. But he's a he's a good pet. He's just high maintenance. You gotta really stay on it with these filters and everything. All right, let's move on to the next animal. And here we have my snake. His name's Geraldo. He is a black rat snake. Caught him about a little bit over four years ago. Mom saved him when he was outside. The cats were beating him up. He was just a hatchling. And uh we brought him in. And uh He's really grown now. He's over four feet, almost four feet long. And, uh, he usually eats one frozen mouse. I usually thaw the mice out a week, but during the winter, he really cuts back and usually eats maybe at the most two times a month, usually sometimes one time a month because his wild instincts kick in. He's got a small hide box right there. As you can see, he can still fit into there. That's his climbing stick right there. And right in there, that's his water dish. Usually change that about once a week, give him fresh water. Because usually he'd be drinking from a stream. He's pretty active right now. He's got a dome light right up there that shines through. I'm going to get a fluorescent light installed right in the top part right up here. He's a really good pet. He's bit me a couple of times but it was usually mistakes over food and it broke the skin but it didn't hurt at all. He uh, is usually pretty tame especially in the winter parts of the year where he doesn't eat as much he's pretty easy to handle I take him out sometimes he's real active right now it's pretty warm in his cage I got a heating pad right around that area right there so you can see he's spending most of his time right there and that's where the dome lights coming down but uh, he said for some reason he's real active tonight. But yeah, he's my oldest reptile right now, and he'll be going on his fifth birthday. I think uh, next next November.
because when we called him he was just a hatchling. If I had to recommend pet snakes for somebody it would definitely be rat snake like this or the king snake species. Usually very good temperament, easy maintenance and you know they don't they don't get too big. A lot of people are into buying big snakes and they don't realize that that's not the smartest choice because then they become too much for you to handle. These snakes are perfect. As you can see he's still got some length to him. That's a to back out a little bit. This is a three foot wide cage. And you can see he's not even fully stretched out and he's covering it. So 